Hello. The first month of school is almost over, and I'm so proud of all the great work happening in our schools and classrooms. Last school year, I had the chance to visit all 102 schools. I'm looking forward to revisiting many of our schools this year to see our new strategic plan, Seattle Excellence, put into practice. Together, I know we can prepare every student for college, career, and community participation. For my first school visit, I stopped by Emerson Elementary, and I was so impressed by the work that is already taking place. Educators at Emerson are laser focused on early literacy, a priority of Seattle Excellence. By setting class reading goals, running structured reading groups, and facilitating deep literacy-based conversations, teachers at Emerson are hitting the ground running on the district's Seattle Super Readers Initiative. I have no doubt that Emerson Elementary will have 100% of students reading by third grade. As I visited fourth grade classrooms at Emerson, I overheard powerful conversations as students grappled with themes of equity and social justice in their reading text. Classes have only been in session for a month, but teachers and administrators at Emerson have worked to build a welcoming and safe community. One teacher, John Fretz, addressed students as leaders and change makers and they took on those roles. Before reading groups began, he asked students what working together looks like to ensure everyone participated and problem solved together. This is what an inclusive classroom looks like in Seattle Public Schools, one where everyone belongs and has a role in the learning community. I left Emerson Classrooms inspired, as always, by the quality teaching of our educators and the strong and thoughtful voices of our students. In fact, Last Friday, hundreds of our students raised their voice as they joined the Global Climate March. I am proud of our students' abilities to organize and take action on important and urgent issues. And we strongly support students' First Amendment rights. Our role as educators is to provide an environment in which students are supported in the development of their personal role in our democracy. And while we could not excuse the absence because it does not meet state or district criteria for an excused absence and because of the precedent it would set, I know that students felt strongly enough to stand up for what they believe in because they showed up. I hope your school year is off to a great start. I'm excited to visit more of our school communities and witness the abilities and inherent excellence of all of our students. And as you know, I love a good corny joke. So why did the Scarecrow win in an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Thank you. To get daily updates, you can follow me on Twitter at Seattle Soup. That's Seattle, S-U-P-T. All Juno's journals and superintendent updates are posted to the superintendent page of the district website, www.seattleschools.org.